Divine greetings, entities, energies, lovelies, bodies of light, seekers, and sojourners of truth. The 144, chosen of the chosen of the chosen few. I think I'm going to do a topic why I say chosen of the chosen of the chosen few because there are few, very, very few of us and we're constantly being sifted out. So chosen of the chosen for the chosen few. All right, I greet you in the love that lights the truth from my heart to yours. I am Akila Textry, the divine energy essence of it all, reporting to you live from 5D, as usual, bringing you the news to infuse if you so choose to infuse with. And remember, if you do not infuse with the light, you're getting fried on the grid. <laughs> fried. All right, so... I want to talk to us about communication as I'm in my true blue. I'm in my uh, throat chakra as we lead up to the uh, new moon, tomorrow being the new moon. And I usually do my moon work and chakra work from the crown going down. So three days before and today I'm on my throat. <clears throat> so let me clear my throat while I discuss communication between the netter with between us and the netter the energetic communication um and discussing rituals as this means of communication i really wanted to talk about rituals for quite some time and this is just what's flowing out of me right now so i'm going to go ahead and share that so the rituals i want us to look at a lot of times we think of rituals as most people get the connotation of something bad right bad rituals are bad and really and truly there's good there's bad um rituals it's good and bad and everything right it's opposition it's duality i don't even really like to call it good and bad or bad because what's really meant for bad is going to be good anyway because we're all meant to have this contrast to have this complementary balance <clears throat> gemini where the two becomes the one right and back into the two again and keep going but um without further ado let me bring it back I digress let me come back into this rituals and one thing I want us to look at with rituals is they are a communication device why do I say that because it's our response when we do a ritual it is our response to the energy it is us responding to whatever the energy provides for us what we know especially when we're being intentional with our rituals Right, so even offerings, when people see people giving them offerings, see, I ain't lying, wisdom in the wind, right? The, the ancestors in the wind, right? When we give to these energies, these ancestors, these uh, energetic archetypes, as I say, um, not even so much ancestors, but when you hear people talk about the Ifas and the Orishas and um, even just other ancient gods, the Kemetic gods, all these type of gods that they usually give offering to, um, in some type of way um, it is to respond to that energy let's get this clear it's not to give to that energy and this was something I found myself explaining it's not to give to that entity put it that way but you are giving into the energy and it's not that the energy needs your offering we are in this physical world right let's let's do the common sense for a minute like we are the human beings we are the ones in flesh we are the ones who need tangible things the invisible essence the divine essence the netter divinity whatever you want to call it great order of divinity does not need tangible things it does not need anything physical to hold on to so it is not about the physical thing that you are doing and giving it it is about the energy and when we do something physical, it is for us because we need tangibility. So when we do something that is tangible, rituals are like a bridge. It, it, it's, it bridges the intangible to the tangible. So we being beings in the tangible realm, living tangibly, we have an affinity towards tangible things. So the way that we can respond, the way that we can communicate with energy, which is intangible and invisible, um, is to do something tangible. So when we do a ritual, it is our way of solidifying, tethering ourselves to that energy through something tangible. It is our tangible response to the intangible world, to the invisible world. 
So when you see people give an offering, it's not for that. Let's say if I go to the ocean and I put something for Yemaya and I put some flowers or some molasses or whatever it is that I do um, for Yemaya, it is not specifically for that deity. That de deity doesn't need our flowers, but it is the energy. We are speaking to that energy because that is an archetypal energy. And so the way that we give thanks and honor um, and remember this honor is for us it is it is a communication that we communicate with this energy and therefore we bring a certain tangibility to the communication the invisible aspect remember communication as we're in this Gemini season about communication Mercury in Gemini Mercury rules Gemini like this communication is really being highlighted the throat chakra season like that we're in is really being highlighted right now as we're in the last stretch of the third the, the throat chakra season and it's really about how we express how we communicate in the invisible realm right it's in the wind you can't touch the wind energy is like the wind you cannot touch it so we do tangible things to communicate with that energy now whether it's good or bad that depends on that soul whether it's talking to benevolent forces or the malevolent forces which are the bad forces the bad that is determined by our intentions where intention goes energy shows energy flows and the result shows let me say that again where attention goes where intention goes the energy flows and the results show so it is all about your intention and your attention and whatever it is that you're doing so when you see rituals out there yes there are some malevolent um rituals that are happening um but it's for us to not give into that that's their karmic work that they have to deal with and if we witness it we are not to partake in it we are not to be a part of it so certain rituals like uh I'm just going to call it out, right? One of the worldly things, let's say off the top of my head, is a that Beyonce debacle, that, that Beyonce circus show that she carried her daughter around in is a ritual, which a lot of people are not seeing and understanding. It is a sacrificial ritual where she is sacrificing her own in front of the world, in front of everyone, and everyone is partaking in that. So these are things that we have to be mindful of. What are you partaking in? Are you a part of this ritual, right? Because that energy is being broadcasted to you and you are a part of that broadcast. Whether it's whether you watch it or you're you're um in the in the audience of it, right? If you happen to see it cuz I saw it, but I don't watch it like that. So if you're watching it with that type of, oh, you know, you're being wooed by that energy or oh, the broadcast has wooed you. You've been captured by that broadcast, casting spells. Think about that word broadcast. And these are rituals like let, let, let's be clear. All spells like rituals are spells and we are casting spells all the time, even in our thoughts, in our minds right this is mind work speaking of mental right which is what again what gemini governs the mental the logic the mental aspect right we're casting spells with our very thoughts our thoughts and feelings the way we process our thoughts and feelings our coherent thought and feelings or the incoherency however you want to look at it but how we hold things in our mind is how we're casting spells all the time Right, so it's to understand that it's not just someone working their magic, as some people say, doing an actual. You don't have to do an actual ritual, as some people look at voodoo as. When voodoo is really, it's a religion, and it's it's holding our ancestral practices. Are there some malevolent ones? Yes, just like there's good and bad in everything, but it is really a way to connect us to the ancestors to the ethers to the energy the ancestors connect us to the energy because they're in the wind more than we are so they're like that bridge between us and those energy archetypes and that's why it's good for us to work with our ancestors with our ancient ones that connect us to that archetypal energy so that's when we're doing whatever tangible work that we can do 
but that ritual as i was saying is not just like how what people see voodoo as um you know cutting the chicken head or things like that it's not just that rituals are very thoughts that you're having you can work a ritual every day some of us are working rituals every day you have a routine you got a ritual right it's just a question of what is your ritual about is your ritual benevolent or malevolent is it something that works for the betterment of your soul, your spirit, your vehicle, your body? Because some people not spiritual, but they take care of their body. And so they may have a routine or a ritual that helps them to take care of their body. And if you're really good at taking care of your body, then you're also taking care of your soul in some way, shape or form, even if you're not doing deep soul work, right? So it's, it's the intention of what you're doing. So I say that so we understand this communication is a beautiful thing, communicating between the energies. And I want us to understand rituals as a communication. So we take the negative connotation off of it. And especially when you can look at yourself and know that you do rituals. Let's not cast out anyone else because of how they do their rituals. We, we like to cast judgment when we see people doing rituals that are not our style or not our type. Everyone is going to do their rituals differently. But don't take yourself out of the equation right cast uh, let he what is, what does it say let he who is without sin cast the first stone and it's not even a sin but what i mean is let he who is without blemish or not even blemish i don't want to put a negative tone on it but let he who is without the accusation whatever it is cast the first stone right so don't cast a stone on someone else because you see them doing a ritual that is unsavory to you when you do a ritual every day if you get up and you exercise every day that's your ritual if you get up and you there's a routine what I, like i said whatever routine you have every day that you do that is your ritual you get up and you go to church every single sunday that is your ritual whatever you do that connects you to the divine in whatever way even if you're connecting to take care of your body if you take care of your body you're taking care of the divine that is inside of that body so even indirectly you are connecting to that energy you are communicating with that energy so this beautiful ritual is a divine communication let it be known as we are into this throat chakra season in the last stretch and we are into this communication house right the house of god that we are in right now is all about communication the, the kuti energy to hoodie however you say it i say to hoodie but i know it could be jahudi that energy is is known and i believe it's also known as thought the messenger right in in greek mythology it may be known as uh hermes even though we don't care for their mythology you know they use anyway those who may be um it's really the tahuti energy that is the messenger the wisdom and the wind that is carrying that so what you do when you do a ritual you communicate that that which you feel and that which you have a purpose for um your gratitude for that energy this is how you say thanks this is how you speak to that energy this is how you ask for what you want in that energy this is how you say i'm serious right that ritual that you do that offering that you give is not for that entity or that energy they don't need it it is for you to bolster your commitment your communication showing an attitude of gratitude giving thanks in advance and saying i am thankful for this right it is knowing that you already have what it is that you're asking for and you're putting it in the energy so you doing the offering is your tangible connection it's your receipt there you go it's your tangible receipt to the energy that's saying here i give on to you but that you is you right it's me when i give and i offer i'm putting an offering into that energy but that offering is for me i want us to put that on our head and really get our minds around it it is not for that opposition energy so for those of you who are judging um and not even opposition let me take that back it's not for whatever that energy is it is for you so those who are judging and saying oh you do this for that or you worship the sea you worship it no i worship the divine energy in me 
and the ritual that I do is for me to cross that bridge from the in, from the intangible to the tangible. It is for me to bring the invisible into the invisible because I understand the order and I understand that I am a tangible being. I am in a tangible body. So I have to do tangible things to cement it, to commit to that energy for me, for us to be imbued, embedded in that energy. So it's really for us. It is nothing. It's we. Look, our little stuff, our little offerings can't do nothing for them. Let's just be real. It is all for us. So it is our communication. I want us to just wrap our mind around that and see that understanding. Have a new perspective, a true perspective of how this is for us more than anything. So that's my take on the ritual that where the bad versus good ritual. And it's for you to know what that ritual is for. You must know in your heart why you're doing, what you're doing, when you're doing, for whom you are doing, right? Or to whom you may be doing, because we do put energy out there towards others. And again, you don't have to do a physical ritual. You could be working rituals in your mind. If you get up every day and repeat the same thing, you're casting a spell, right? It's all about repetition. We are in the universal year of eight, and that is highlighted. Repetition, repetition. In the infinite existence, it is constant consistent repetition so what is the repetition in your mind what are the repeating thoughts and feelings in your mind because there and then you are casting spells it is in your thoughts don't think because you didn't say it don't don't cast yourself as oh well i didn't say it oh don't think you escape if you're thinking it as a man think it so is he as a man think it let it be Right. So if you're thinking it and you're feeling it, especially if you're thinking and feeling it and you have thought feeling coherency over and over again on that same thing, then you are casting a spell. You are working a ritual. And there you have it. The question is, is it malevolent or is it benevolent? Benevolent being good, malevolent being bad. You make that decision. But ultimately, rituals are communications. So let's just look at it like that. The question is, how? what kind of communication are you having? And do you have effective communication? So be not dismayed. Don't let anyone, for those of you who are doing your rituals, don't, don't let anyone make you feel less than. And know too that they are doing rituals just because they're not doing exactly what you're doing. No man is exempt. Everyone has rituals that they're working out and casting the spells that they're casting in their minds. And you need to be mindful. We must be mindful so we can watch what we're passing through our mind and break those spells if you find that you have a spell that you've been casting then break those spells you don't got to be a witch to cast a spell you could be regular regular old joe and casting a spell it's just a matter of watching your mind activity right mental work gemini look at the duality is it malevolent or benevolent look at the duality of what it is that you're doing look at the contrasting appearances and find a complementary balance and make it your own so that's my take on the rituals of rituals and knowing that rituals are just our simply only our communication with the energies that we live in and exist in on an infinite basis so with that said, as usual, please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, comment if you dare. Let me know your take on rituals. Are you for it? Are you against it? Have you found yourself judging it? And how now has this given you a different outlook? Does it free you to feel liberated in the way that you do whatever it is you do and not feel any judgment about it free yourself from those judgments communicate with the energy be thankful find your tangible you know path and make it your own All right so with that said each one reach one teach one if you don't know where to start start in your big beautiful heart shine your light from the inside out and be the candle that lights the next one and the next one and the next one peace love and light